Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3 dropped and it brought in a very broken SMG, the FJX Horus, and oh my days, this thing will be taken over. This new SMG is the definition of recoil, look at this absolutely uncontrollable like i've never seen more recoil on an smg i thought it was going to be impossible to make a build but oh my days was i wrong so if we go over to the muzzles and you oh we actually can't throw on a muzzle until you throw on a barrel so if we go over to the barrels first we got two good barrels we got the long barrel and the martis heavy barrel the best way i can describe this gun it's the wsp swarm of the wsp swarm very fast fiery it's very good up close medium and long range absolute dog shit. So you might want to add the long barrel to increase the damage range, making it so it has somewhat some range. But then you don't get any recoil control in the gun. We saw it has a lot of recoil. So for me, I really like to add the Martis heavy barrel. And then I just try to get up, up close and personal with the enemies. And then for the cons on here, there really isn't that many. And so this basically just has only pros. Now the gun is somewhat usable. By the way, I saw you eye my brand new sumo graphic tee down. And you're just super jealous. You're stuck with your plain old boring shirt. Well, lucky you, you can get your own graphic tee at intotheAN.com. Here, you'll find a variety of graphic tees, so you'll be sure to find the one that fits you. They even sell fitted shirts, so if you're like Bob and like fitted clothing, you're in for a treat. Or maybe you do like your bland shirts, so they also sell basically everything from polos to active tees to hoodies and pants. And the best part is that their clothing not only is very affordable, but it's also extremely comfortable. Which is great if you like working out or sitting in your chair all day since nobody likes swamp ass. The clothing is also made of ultra soft fabric that barely shrinks in the dryer. Yes, you can dry these clothes in the dryer with minimal... Minimal... Barely any shrinkage. So go down to the description or the pinned comment and purchase some high quality affordable clothing from intotheam.com. They even got high quality shorts that allow for great airflow which also prevents shorts. What? So now our gun is somewhat usable, but it's not usable enough. So we are going to be adding the L4R flash hider. Also keep in mind, there are some other muzzles in this game that are pretty good to add like more recoil control. But if we look at that muzzle right there, you guys can see if it's not like a flash hider one, you actually see all those flames as you're shooting and it really messes you up. But if you had the flash hider, okay, I thought it was a cool new addition that they had, but it was just a bug within the game. So L4, actually it's not even a bug. It's just a blueprint. That is wild. Basically L4 flash flash hider is going to be a great muzzle even though it just got nerfed this is going to add so much recoil control really making the weapon very easy to use what you guys can also add is going to be the compensated flash hider you're going to have a little bit more recoil but you're going to be kind of off the radar and then another very good one that's very hard to see if you're using iron sights will be the tray bucket bucket bullshit break however you say that and then if you want to be off the radar out at the shadow strike but there's going to be so much recoil to where the gun's kind of hard to use sorry for all that yeah but now our gun is actually usable but we are going to be running out of ammo 20 four seven so i'm gonna actually you know what there's a little bit of variation that i will be giving you guys before that add the lopper lxd stock this can add so much aiming idle stability to where it's very easy to hit the first shot this gun has a lot of sway this is going to reduce the sway and then we also get that recoil control gun kick control and firing aiming stability remember that gun kick control is what's make what makes the weapon like actually easy to see what you're shooting that makes it so it doesn't really shake allows you to actually see that recoil pattern and then we are going to be losing a little bit of our mobility and and our handling but it's really not that much and those pros are gonna heavily outweigh those cons i do wish we had something that would give us more gun kick control because then the gun would be super easy to use since like right here all that shake you see is because of lack of gun kick control if we didn't have that stock out there it would be extremely hard to see and then the tracers don't really help either. You kind of got to be up close to because it bounces around side to side so much. Oh, another pretty good muzzle is the purifier muzzle. You can try that one too if you don't like the class. Now our gun has more recoil control, but since the base stats are already so good on the weapon, we're just going to add even more recoil control. So we're going to be adding the 9M grip. You guys can see we get that gun kick control and that fire aim and stability, really making the weapon easier to use. And then we get that recoil control with basically having no cons. I know we're losing a little uh, aiming auto stability and this gun already has a lot of sway, but we are using something else to increase that value so now we just have a pretty balanced build when you guys are in the firing range you guys see this and like you know it looks like there's too much recoil but there really isn't that much once you're in game playing against the enemies if you hit that first shot then you'll get aim assist helping you make it even easier to you know hit your shots if you're on keyboard and mouse i feel like you really won't like this weapon with all that said though right here base part of the weapon from here you can do whatever you want you can add an optic if you want a little bit better sights and i don't know why it's doing that the reason i'm in a private match war zone is because it's not letting me build it in the regular multiplayer because you know this game is just so good so what you guys can also oh for 
one of the optics that's actually very good. This is going to be the one that came with the brand new Morse sniper. If I can find it, it is a very chunky little mother site this moors dot site i don't know how i could use it earlier and i can't use it now but this site is very fun to use definitely check it out lasers you don't really need any on the gun this is a brand new laser though that really increases mobility you guys might like it i think it just came in the recent update because i've never seen it before and it is pretty fun but you know for me i would rather add the 48 round mag because this thing has a fast fire you're going to be blowing through ammo you can't really get more than two kills without having to reload so 48 round mag is kind of essential on this gun you guys can also do those dr6 hand stop you get a lot of mobility the X10T X12 one is also a very good one. And then if you do want a lot more recoil control, you guys got two different options. So before you'd always run the DR6, uh, not the DR6. It was like the underbarrel heavy one. This one adds a lot of recoil control. Very good, but it's not as good as it was last season. They just lowered the horizontal recoil control from 12% down to 8%. So it's not as good. One that is very good now. The FTAC SP10 angled grip. As you guys can see, the stats and just everything about this is very similar to the Bruin heavy, but you actually get more horizontal recoil control but you don't get recoil gun kick like you don't get as much so yes it's easy to control the recoil but then your sights are shaking around more making it seem like it's harder and so i still like the bruin heavy even though we're losing ads speed but you guys should definitely try out the sp10 you guys are going to be seeing me use that on a lot of other builds with all that yapping though this is going to be the entire class i absolutely love it drop the crazy mgb that you guys do not want to miss my secondary i have a insane secondary that i gotta show you guys keep in mind also i am iridescent well last season iridescent and so you rest assured that I know what I'm talking about. We got that calling card now. It's looking amazing. Just to prove to you guys. Yo, we got that nice iridescent calling card. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. For the secondary, I got the Jack Conversion Kit on my Renetti, and this thing is crazy. I didn't realize it was this good. Like, in the beta, it was good, but I didn't realize it was still that good. Like, I was frying with this. We had people slide canceling against us, absolutely dominating them. And then for the rest of the stuff, you know, running the classic things and perks, I do want to try some of the new vests. The Compression Carrier should be a very good one. It's kind of like Quick Fix, so then whenever you get a kill or a capture A objective, you're going to replenish your health, making chain kills and stuff very easy and very nice. And you, I think we can run this in rank play too, maybe, and so I might have to try that out but overall this is what i was rocking and let's get into it first time ever playing on this map i haven't seen anything about it okay i'm completely lying i saw someone else play i saw scum first came on he went like he got like 26 kills in a row and then died at the end it was so tragic but it looks like a great map i don't know if it's good for cod competitive that would be cool if they could just throw it into rank just to see how it would do this smg what the fuck was that guy yapping about Bro, I'm like scared on this map. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I got fucking Freddy Cougar on the other team. And I'm trying to drop a nuke. Bro, that means... Wait, wait, wait. So if I drop a nuke on this map. And since this map is in Dubai. That means I dropped a nuke in Dubai. And yo, Montana is a bag of chips. He's literally the Doritos. Okay, I don't know where they're spawning at. It seems like they're getting like split spawn, parallel spawns right now. Bro, I don't even know where I'm going. So we got a vent in here. Imagine nuke first time ever playing on this map. Okay, right there, big hot zone. I don't know if I ever recommend you guys to go into that spot because that spot right there. I don't know about that one. That was a little bit iffy. Okay, teammates. Yo, you guys are gunning like crazy. Yeah, something's a little bit off with this game. But in a good and bad way. It's like my movement feels... More responsive, but also less responsive. It's weird. I wonder what that guy was doing. Okay, sprint to fire speed on this thing is insane. Arriba. I know what that word means. I know what vamos means. Vamos a la playa. Latina's not having it. I'll have myself a Latino, though. What's up, man? <laughs> Puppy, no, 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 do not kill me. Thank you. It's a hot zone over here. Bro, oh, this thing kills fast. Oh my god. I believe they said this is the fastest killing SMG in the game right now. And up close, you could really feel it. Feels like a better swarm. Kind of feels like a, a pistol in a way. Bro, what are these mics? I don't mean to flip spawns. I think I just flipped them and made them go parallel or something. I just don't know where I'm going. 
Oh, you can't climb. Ah. No, no, absolutely not. I've never like seen a blueprint that the developers made. That's actually good. So Sledgehammer, I think they're on guide, the best developers, them and Treyarch. Oh, he has the more sniper. I really want to go use that. But I know when I go to use it, I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to put myself in a bad situation. And then I'm going to miss a shot and die. So this seems good, but it's like... Oh, oh my god, yo, that Renetti was frying. Um. I know he's right there. Oh, he's over here. Whoops! Oh, we got the advance. <gasps> no. Oh, get turned on. Bro, I went to go move my mic. You guys saw that. And then the man just tried to plow my ass. That is not good. Nine shots. And we fucking die. I'm calling him my helo. EMP, you take away everything that you've ever had. Why is there a hard point in the pool? Yeah, this is not a competitive map. Maybe for search or control. Wait, control might be kind of fire on this map. I, I, anything's better than invasion control. Bro, oh, I don't even. What the hell? Am I listening to? I'm just listening to like Japanese. They're making some rapperoni and cheese. Okay, I gotta use. I gotta use them more. Wait, why would you? What the fuck? That guys, weirdo. Nobody uses the cat. No. Bro's playing hella aggressive with the cat sniper. That is wild. Bro, who is calling me? Graphic designer exotic, which he, he's in the description if you want some sexy thumbnails. Bro's trying to call me. Middle of the gameplay? He probably just has a question about the thumbnail, but like, fuck. Imagine I'm close to a duke. Oh, I got Okay, I don't we are four kills off the advance. That's what I need. I was getting so lost But this thing is frying Oh, dude my iridescent calling card on this game looks great. I was sad I didn't get it the previous season, but it's looking good this season Okay, the game's ending soon, but we also have so much time. I seem to find where these guys rotate to You get Ah, oh, yo, go suck it. Ladies and gents, this is my first impression on this map. Never... Okay, that that's middle map, but now that's a double kill. I'll take it. Never played on this map. First impressions. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, there was already someone. Look, am I already in their spawn? Wait, this shit's smaller than my meat. Huh? That is insane, actually. Ooh, this thing's doing... Oh, and that dude tried pulling the AFK strat on me. No, that does not work against me unless uh, you do it twice in a row. Rosa Farts? 
Warzone player right here. Get out of my multiplayer game. I don't like you. You go play Warzone with that scope and slow ass play style. You go play your Warzone, you little Timmy. Leave the multiplayer for the good players. Because we all know multiplayer takes more. But can this guy, like, that man just spawns in and he's good. Like, he doesn't need to go anywhere else. Bro, I gotta, like, check the depths of every quarter. He's a Ryo Shield, too. Bro, we have to nuke her or he or them and who, who, what, when, how, sometimes, why. We have to nuke him. Okay, we already know Farts is over here. Or not. I guess I'm lying. Bro, I, I just got the better gunny. Got that iridescent gunny. Oh my god. Bro, this thing fries. I'm about to go submit an application in and out. About to become the main fryer. What is the purpose of this? What is the actual purpose? Can we go down? What, why is that there? That's there just to piss people off. No, no, that's that's the farts. I must go this way. We made it. More beaming. This thing is insane. The best. Oh my god, I heard the swarm got a buff. How big of a buff? Is it gonna kill me more or what, what's the buff? What the fuck? Bro, you cannot push in the spawn. You are gonna get sandwiched like a PB and fucking J. If you go over there. Let's go on the swarm. Let's see what the swarm does. Let's see how good this thing is. Bro, that elevator needs to go. They need to put a, a roadblock sign on that. Let's EMP them. And then should we advance UAV them? To put them into the triple whammy? This might be my favorite SMG in the game. This might be my favorite map in the game. Holy shit! So you can't play like no bitch. It's gotta keep up being aggressive. Except for right here because I need to call my mommy. I am scared to help me. Wait a minute. Imagine. We got another EMP. They just got out of the they just got out of the other EMP and swarm. Let's call another swarm in because it didn't kill me last time. Usually the swarm only targets me. It didn't target me that time. We're gonna do the advanced. Figure out where these dudes are hiding at. Ah! Okay, teammates. They don't know who to shoot because I got that EMP. No. Buddy, no. Wait a minute. There's a lot of spots on here that I don't understand. And I'm in the middle. I'm in the mix. Oh, 
leave a like for that one. Subscribe with the noties on. For this young man. Bro, that one actually got my heart rate going. That one got my heart rate going because I thought there was people rushing me when there wasn't people rushing me. Oh my god. And then that guy with that red skin started to hum me down. But no, you can't kill no iridescent guy. I hit, I hit the eerie. You can't kill me. I'm better than you. Oh my god. Oh my god. The MGP. I was forgot. Shit. Yo, shout out to Into the AM. Sponsor this video. We'll pick up some nice clothing. I only got it because of the sumo guys. They were looking over me. That's the only way I got this nuke is for, for the sumo guys. Oh my god. Let's go, boys. See? With these shirts, with Into the AM, you get your nukes. It's too simple. Let's go.